is Mike McCarthy here, and in this video we're going to take a look at one of Ornatrix's version 4's new features, which is the strand multiplier. You can see we have our furry back character here, and this guy is groomed uh, kind of nice and smooth. If we wanted to give him a little bit more of a roughed up fur look, uh, we might add frizz or some other modifiers, but in this case we're going to look at the strand multiplier. The strand multiplier modifier will allow you to take any hair or guide for that matter and multiply it for that root or follicle. So to do that we're just going to go to hair from guides and I'm going to reduce the amount of hair that I have here so I'm going to bring it down for the view count to uh, uh, just 10,000 and we'll kind of zoom in a bit. And then I'm going to go and add my OX strand multiplier and you can see that that has added hair, three hairs for every single root and or follicle. If I zoom in here I just adjust that length down a little bit, so I'll set that to maybe 1.2. Now I'll go back to the strand multiplier. You can see that each one of these hairs now has is generating three via the root. I'm going to go through some of these options in here, so you can see our root count is three. I can set this to well, one or zero even. Then we have a couple of different options for adjusting how those new hairs get generated and are randomized. So you can see we have options for spread fluff and shift and each one of those has a root and a tip option as well as a graph for you to work with and a map that you can map uh, you know different places that would have maybe a little bit more spread or less spread on the character itself so by default here I have this at 2 I'm just going to set it down to 0 for both fluff and spread and you can see that the roots kind of uh, or the multiplied roots all just disappear here. So I'm just going to kind of click and drag the tip option so you can see that this is how we kind of spread out the tips for those multiple follicles. So I may set that to something like one and I'll get some good spread there. And then under fluff I could do the same thing. So I could set this, uh, I'll just kind of click and drag so you get the idea that this kind of fluffs them out on a different axis away from each other. So I'll set this to maybe 1.5 and then I get some variation in how these roots are created. Now if I wanted it to maybe spread a little bit more in the middle near the tip then I could bring that up or down uh, and I could adjust the graph as I like. Okay so we'll just zoom back out a little bit on our character and increase that number of hairs back up uh, so maybe I'll set this to 40k and you can see that we have a much different result out of our character. It has uh, you know, a fuzzier, maybe furrier feel and this can be really nice uh, for different types of fur grooms and even different grooms that you might do if you're propagating grass or foliage or other things of that nature. If I go back into the strand multiplier modifier you can see that I can adjust the count uh, as high as I want so maybe if I set that to 5 I'll get many more tufts of hair here uh, or I can bring it down actually I can even bring it down to one which is interesting because you can use these uh, deforms uh, for spread and for fluff and shift and uh, you actually only you know can put them on one hair so if you didn't even want to multiply them but these were tools that you wanted to use for your groom to kind of uh, mess up your hair then you could do that as well which is pretty nice I'll bring it back up to three and finally we'll just go back to our hair from guides, we'll bring it back up to you know, our final view count here of 8,000. And you can see that we have some nice coverage for this hair, maybe we'd make it a little bit longer. So I'll go into strand length and maybe up that to uh, 1.3 or 1.4 to get a little more length out of that. And there we go, that's the new strand multiplier modifier for Ornatrix version 4. Thank you very much.